Hey guys and girls, welcome to episode 17 of Just Wandering Oz. In this video, we adventure through the central Flinders Ranges. We take in the amazingly breathtaking sights in the Bunyuru Valley before exploring through the Bruckner and Parachilna Gorges, where you can see evidence of tectonic movement from over 500 million years ago. It's then goodbye to the magical Flinders Ranges and we start heading north, not before stopping in to check out the old Freena Town ruins and visit the bakery for a cheeky pie and the best vanilla slice I've ever eaten. Cheeky bit of roast pork with some beers and and well that's the camp. Pretty cool. We're at um Mora Mora Mira Mira. I can't remember how to say it. No no more. That's where we are. Hey babe. We left this on. Just filming in the car. Till it ran out of battery, probably not that long. And we got the cheeky little fire for when it gets cold tonight. Oh yeah. Rock. So apparently there's a little walk from the lookout and there's rock uh, Aboriginal cave. It's a big rock. It's huge. One hell of a walk. I don't know. We'll find out. Lakes are small. <laughs> oh. Oh. Geological Scenic Drive. So it's kind of cuts through the middle of the Flinders Ranges. Sort of. Ish. Through the, <laughs> the Wolpeda National Park or whatever that national park is. Yes, just with the Flinders Ranges National Park. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can follow the Flinders Ranges Highway. It goes like the whole way through it. We're kind of winding through it a little bit because we want to see some stuff in the middle. So, yeah, it's very, very harsh, very rugged, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very. Yeah. The big one there. Uh -huh. Eat that lunch. Yeah, so this should take us up to the Brackener Gorge. Hopefully, if I'm following the map right. <laughs> so we'll check out the Bracken and Gorge and then head for Blinden. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the voice. I was up all night last night talking and drinking. <laughs> um, we just came out of the Warpeda Info Centre and um, Resort there. 
info centre wasn't very helpful. You just basically told me to go online and get the bugs, bar, switch, I guess, whatever. It does make it a little bit more simple, but <clears throat> if I wasn't with Telstra, I wouldn't be able to because you don't get anything else out here. But all in all, the general store that was there next to the resort had like a good, ver a good variety of things. So that was cool. Yeah, they had fuel too. Yeah, they did, but it wasn't as expensive as well. It was the same price as what we paid in Hawker. Which was $1.55 for diesel. It's ridiculous. Which is the most we've paid so far on this trip, but I'm expecting they'll be probably more expensive the further north we go. Yeah. So hopefully the audio on this isn't too bad. This road's pretty rubbish. Very rutted out and very corrugated. But hey, it's pretty. It's good. Road less travel. Bugger the highway. <laughs> Alright, we'll check back in at Bracken or Gorge. Or if anything cool happens. Yeah, or if anything cool happens. Hopefully you can see, hopefully the dust isn't too bad. This is absolutely specky. So pretty. We're in Brachner Gorge now? Brachner or? I don't know, it's either Brachner or Brachner or something like that. Okay. Yeah. It's so wow. pretty. Look at this guys. Absolutely specky specky.
car on a Friday night, I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. Hello. <laughs> We're just leaving at Murnamora Station. Yeah, we had a bloody yes. great couple of days there. Cool little campsites. They don't have a great deal. I think they have six or maybe eight pound signs. But you can't complain with that. Pound sites on a the station. There's heaps of cabins. There's heaps of free camping. Well, not free camping. Um, bush camping all up and down the creek. It looked pretty really spooky. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Nice big communal fire pit that they come and drop them off every night so you can all just have a big fire and like this morning I got the fire back going again and had some had some jaffles. Jaffles! Jaffle fire jaffles are like next level jaffles. There's nothing better. Oh, yeah. So good. Nothing crazy, you know, it's just baked beans and cheese. But so good. Anything cooked over the fire is so much better. Fact. Um yeah, we had a great day yesterday, <coughs> explored around, went out, did Parachuana Gorge, did um, the horse that town starts with a B. Lindman. Lindman. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do the underground mine site. We, again, tried yeah. to cram a little bit too much in each day and got there at four o'clock and it closes at four. So. But when you get there, there's a board that has all the tour times and they were all full all day. So it is school holidays. And you know we haven't booked anything because we didn't know where we would be um, which you know is unfortunate but at the same time the drive we did yesterday was absolutely gorgeous what? so you know you can't did, complain you miss other, one thing and you see another yeah, what were the so. other two gorgeous we did Brack, Brack, Brackeners or Brackener and some other ones that start to the B and they were all all the drives yesterday were absolutely stunning the changing in colours and landscape and looking at the different like rock formations and the colours in the rocks and some of these mountains in the Flinders it just blows you away. I might be able to tell you what it was if I had a brain this morning. My, my brain's gone. My Bunyaroo. Bunyaroo Gorge. Bunyaroo was the other was one. A, yeah, Bracken and, and Bunyaroo. Yeah, Bracken and Bunyaroo and Parachuna. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's another one that goes off Parachilna called Glass Gorge. Apparently that's gorgeous. Oh, but yeah. we hit that at sort of four o'clock and decided it was getting a little bit too late to to do that. And apparently there's some really beautiful ruins. Yeah, Nakalina. Um, I couldn't really remember off that. Off that road. Um, but yeah, like we said before, you can't fit everything in. So No. No, and by no means do we feel like we're missing out. We got a good good hit of the Flinders. We got oh, to see yeah. a lot. It was cool. We did kind of like sort of a loop. We we started at Murder Mortar and cut across and then went up Flinders Ranges Highway and then cut across through the gorge and then went kind of Well we went north a little bit and then come up back. a little bit and then come back and then back and so you know we did kind of zigzag through it and we did we did a fair drive yesterday but oh, yeah. the scenery in the Flinders it's like nothing I've ever seen. It's it's enough to like stunning. Really whet the appetite to come back. Oh uh, you could easily spend months. Yeah. You could easily spend a very, very long time here. And Laurie's cousin said that, and we were like, oh, oh, yeah, all right. You know, we've had people say that before, but you know, you could easily spend quite a number of weeks here and just get lost. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, like, it's it's not surprising to any, anyone that's been to the Flinders before, but they're so big and they're so spread out. It does take a fair bit of driving. Like, we were basically, we started... <coughs> Lower Flinders or Southern Flinders when we were at, um, I can't remember, I never can remember it. Benderby? Benderby Ranges at the station there. And then we moved up to sort of Wolpena and Wolpena, like National Park area where Ber Berna Morna was, where we stayed just recently. And that's still only Southern Flinders. Yeah. There's a whole nother Northern Flinders National Park that just changes completely again. But we don't have time. We'd love to. Another time. Another trip. Oh, well. I have to come down the Strez and do the northern side. Yeah. it's kind of northeastern. Do so that next time we got to come to SA. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, really beautiful. Um, I would have really liked to do... We pulled into... Um, there's a, a rock hike. And I don't like hiking. I'm not a hiker. But it was a two-hour hike to see some Aboriginal cave painting. And I would have really liked to do that, but we weren't really equipped for a hike and Blake was mid-nap, so we didn't get to do that, They're just excuses. It was a 2K hike. We don't like hiking. It was 3K. Oh, I, no, 3K. no, no. I said to you that I've never in my life said that I wanted to do a hike before. Until then. Like, I hiked the period, the, the gorge in Hugh and Den, Pokemon Gorge, for you. <laughs> and that was beautiful. It really was. I, 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 I almost died, but I was very proud of myself. But I'm not a hiker. <laughs> but. Yeah, and then we missed some other rock art on the way back. We kind of went back on the um, eastern side of the range to see this other rock art. And there was no signs. South but Australia was... doesn't like signs. Again. Yeah. But we drove straight past it, and then we missed the sunset because we're on the wrong side of the range. So. Oh, well. Well, we kind of got the sunset. You would have either seen the eclipse or I'll roll on them now of the sunset. I put the drone up and kind of went as high as I could and tried to get a bit of the sunset, but... It was still really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. On to... Murray, uh, Murray somewhere. Somewhere up there. We, we have been recommended Clayton's Wetland Station to stay tonight, which is just, just on the Birdsville track, um, but it's not powered. Normally that isn't a problem, but because it has been so cold and as you can probably hear, we're all a little bit sick. Um, so we're just gonna play it by ear and see um, once we get into reception, if we can get in. Um, or if we have some reception, we can have a look at Willy Weather and check check out what the temperature's gonna be tonight. Yeah. But yeah, that's the general direction we are heading in. North. North. To do the Birdsville track. My favorite direction. Warm up. <laughs> Not for a while yet. I mean, the days are getting warmer. We got a 20 degree day yesterday, and that yeah. was hot. It was almost time to pull the singlets out. Until the sun went down, and then it got really cold. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's enough waffling. See you on the road. So, guys, we're heading into Farina. So, it's an old mining town that is yeah. now a ruined town. It used to have a population of 300 plus people, and now it's derelict except for the bakery which apparently fires up for only eight weeks over winter. And we're and in winter. And we're in winter. It's open today. Well, the signs have said it's open today, 
apparently it's an underground bakery. Yeah. So, pretty keen to check this one out. Who cares what it tastes like? It's just unique. <laughs> and really we need cool. bread. Yeah. Bread. And always need pies. Always need pies. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to check it out, maybe check out a couple of little ruins and see what's what, but we're definitely in the outback now. No, I, don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, the banker is busy. Oh my god, <laughs> everybody's here. I didn't get the memo. 1878 she was established. Wow. She's pretty old. That's cool. Just quietly, I wouldn't want to live out here now with air conditioning and everything else, let alone back in the 1800s. Yeah, look at that. I'd want to live underground too. Well, that's probably why, because underground is so cool. Yeah. That's why Cooper Beattie's all underground. Yep. Because it's like a constant temperature of 17 or whatever the hell the constant temperature is. Hey, look, there's another Jeep. Jeep, Jeep. I like Jeeps. I'm going to run these people over, but. Oh, yeah, let's just walk out. Ah. Okay. Lady, can you see him? Oh my god. This is like the um, Kenilworth Bakery. You're just going to go a bit further out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yum, yum, yum. We're in a bakery. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It's pretty good. How they good? just had fresh vanilla slices come out, so I'm gonna go buy one. Because we can't go past the vanilla slice. <laughs> so, babe, what did you think? The best vanilla slice I've ever had. Ever had? Ever. Beats all those in town. What did you, what did you think? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, yum, yum, yum. She has mints all up her head. She had pastry in her ears. <laughs> now you want to eat the camera. Eat the camera. Pie face. You little pie face. <laughs> so, we're going to walk around Verena. Check out all, well, not probably all of them. Check out some of these old sites. It's all been restored, but all the green ones have been restored. All these slightly browner ones haven't been restored yet, but they're in the process of. Um, we'll flip you back around. Hello, little Blake. The bakery, really cool. Not exactly what we were envisaging. I heard it was like an underground bakery and it was yeah, really old and really cool. Got in there and it looks really new and like like a modern bakery. But I guess it's just the oven that's underground. So, hey, still damn good food. You said best, best vanilla slice. Oh, best vanilla slice. So apparently it closed down and it was closed for like 100 years until they restored it in 2010. I think they said it was 2010 that it was yeah. restored. Um, <laughs> yeah, so really cool, but best vanilla slice. Yeah, mm. all right. It is quite windy, so Hopefully. I don't know how much I'm hiding behind the info board for this. But while we're walking around, stop looking at your mum and doing things with your mother. Um, you'll be able to hear us.
Lots of rocks are going to go back up. significant contributors to the early life of Farina. The house is significant as it is the only non-commercial or government building constructed with stone. The property has been stabilised as, as a significant ruin during 2013-13 programs. You don't want to live in here. We are coming across. I don't know what we're coming across. We're currently driving down North Terrace. And oh, police station and cells, apparently, according to this map. So this will be the second one or something, because the first yeah. one was by the camp where the campground was. Yeah. Which we didn't film. Should have filmed. Bugger. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, and then you've seen the other one, and this is the third one. This is the site number two. New police station. It will crash. There you go. 1867 to 1951, apparently. The first police station was a tent across the creek in the original settlement area. The second was a wooden slab building closed in 1935 and replaced with this building, which in turn was closed in 1950. There you go. Fair enough. So this is the Cricket Oval. Apparently the Cricket Oval is still in use. So Farina enjoys several sporting facilities, including cricket, golf, tennis, and horse racing. The cricket oval was restored in 2010 and is now used on community occasions. The tennis court and golf course are off-road to the right of the Lindhurst to Marie to Marie to Marie Road, approximately two k's north of the turnoff into Farina. Oh, she's a dusty old cricket ground. Could you imagine playing cricket on this one, babe? Cricket's all right. As long as you're not playing footy on it. <laughs> you couldn't play footy out here. Could you imagine the stones? You'd just get torn to shreds. Yeah. Wow. And as we swing around, that's the cricket ground. It's unlike any cricket ground I've ever seen. How crazy. How cool. 